Welcome to a Mascot Friday, featuring all of our favorite mascot pals who are going to meet and hug and love. And love? Yeah. Okay. This is a new beginning for Mascot Friday. It's all about the love. Now to look at uh, this week's poll results and uh, James Pond. You love him. You love him now, remember? You promised. Welcome to Mascot Friday, everybody. Let's just do this. Tonight we're playing James Pond games. Uh, we put up a poll this afternoon being like, which of these misfit sequels should we cover on Mascot Friday? We had Banjo Tooie up there. We had Pac Man World 3, commonly known as the Horny Pac Man. But <laughs> instead, what won was James Pond 3. Yeah. The final entry in the series that we love so much here on Mascot Friday. And since that one, I figured out, I figured why not go extra special? Let's honor Mr. Pond and look at every single fucking one of his games. We're going to do that tonight. Honor? I don't want to, there is no honor in James Pond. Are you sure? If there's an ounce of honor in this fish, we're going to wring it out of him. <laughs> I, I love all the threats that we're making against James Pond. Happy Friday, everybody. Happy Friday. I joke, but I'm here playing platformers on Twitch, so it can't be all that bad, right? I mean, unless you know who is involved. James. But maybe maybe it's just a matter of first impressions. We didn't get the right impression of Mr. Pond, so I figure we should just start over from the beginning. Let's get a fresh start with our friend so we uh, can hopefully understand him and appreciate his platformers a little bit better than we have. Okay. Okay. So, pretend you're at the store, right? Mm -hmm. You're at Electronics Boutique, maybe a Babbage's, and you look on the wall and you see, oh man, all these Genesis platformers I could get. Rolo to the Rescue, um, Stormlord. How mm -hmm. about this one? James Pond. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Is that, is that nudity? Get that... <laughs> I sure hope it isn't. Well, no, it's we're in not. trouble if it is, but I guess that sold some copies of the original James Pond for Sega Genesis. Uh, Alex, why don't you thank a couple of folks while we oh. look at James Pond's beautiful, smiling face? Uh, thank you to uh, Sloth Socks for the um, subscription. Thank you. And thank you to Crush Gals for the 15-month resub. Crush Gals says, I prefer his nephew James Ond Jr. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, so that's... um. That's the basis of it, right? It's like James Bond, but he's a fish, so therefore James Pond. Mm -hmm. There's a sexy mermaid. Yeah, and you some... get it. Yeah. I guess the the Bond link is more evident here in this first game. It tends to it got lost a little bit in James Pond two and was entirely absent by the time three rolled around. So, I mean, it, it could be worse, right? You pick this up for twenty bucks out of the bargain bin. You have no expectations whatsoever. You put the weirdly shaped cart in your Sega Genesis because it's an EA game and it's taller than the others. You plug it in, expecting the thing to explode into flames. And instead, what you see on the screen is this video game. Oh, thank you, Spin Cut, for the 28-month resub. Don't blame me. I voted for the Barbarian game. <laughs> thank you. Ah. We had a Barbarian in there? I don't even remember what the other votes were. Is Banjo, uh, of Banjo-Kazooie a Barbarian? What the fuck is this? What? What is this? Wait a minute. Alex? What? I didn't make this game. You wanna play James Pond? Oh! Oh, I forgot. Your buttons are square, triangle, and circle. Okay. I forgot I play games. Um, oh, his face is bad. How's the, how's the audio on this? Should we turn it down? Should we turn it off? <laughs> can we, can we murder it? All right, it's James Pond with two. Look fish. at his bodacious babes. I bet that's what he calls them. Okay, license to bubble. Okay, locate keys, three trap lobsters before they're abducted. Got it. Anyone out there have this as a kid? Can you give first-hand experience of your enjoyment of the original James Pond? How do I pick up the key? Good luck! How do I pick up the key? Oh yeah, license to Krill! What the hell were they thinking? Hey, you're right! Unbelievable! I could think up ten better subtitles than the one they got. Scarlet Swordfish never seen this before. Yeah, this is the little scene predecessor to James Pond 2, which was a worldwide success and was ported to every single platform in existence, including ports for GBA and PS1 like a decade after the fact. 
No one ever plays this one, though. And I can scarcely understand why. <laughs> Does seem more like an Amiga. Maybe this was originally an okay, Amiga game. Okay, I found how to get the key. Okay. Now, at the time, EA was publishing several hit Amiga games on the Genesis here in the States, including games like Zany Golf, um, Risky Woods, I think, was an Amiga game. Yeah, it was. Fucking Galahad. And then you got this guy. Don't murder me, I'm nice. <clears throat> okay, confirmed. He's Amiga as hell. You just got that, that bug-eyed <laughs> gradient look to him, you know? Yeah, fucking Risky Woods. Remember that shit? Get, get in. Okay. Did you find a bonus stage? I did. Cool. I've got a carrot. Oh, it does have generation-based gameplay damage. And your life bar goes down as you play. Check that out. Oh, I guess that was just your time, your time limit for that part. Way too many JPEGs cluttering up the UI. Look, you need to have James Pond in the lower right corner <laughs> disapproving of your every move. <laughs> what do you think he's about to say, Alex? Uh... Eh? Hey. Hey? Well, yeah. Mission Perfect. failed? How did you... <laughs> how did you fail the first level of James Pond? <laughs> I say no. Oh, they revoked my license? <laughs> they, revoked, they revoked your license. Well, sorry, you're not allowed to be a fish anymore. <laughs> you're gonna have to live on land. Grow some legs, no, I'm fucker. I'm crying again. All what? Right. What? Oh, now he looks happy. Uh, okay. Three. That's okay. that's what he's saying right now. He's saying three. Okay, I got this. Got one. <laughs> Lost our fishing license. Two. I don't like his bow tie. I'm just gonna say it. Okay. Should be a more suave color than yellow. Three. Leave me alone. Four. Okay. Now where's the exit? So far we've got license to krill, license to gill. All better than underwater agent. Like wow. I got the okay. Need the oil. <laughs> I like his little hop when he's on dry land. Hey, you saved the lobster. Okay, let me go now. Yeah, I did it. License to Gil, God. I didn't even realize it until you said something that it was supposed to be undercover agent. View to a spill. Okay. That uh, may have just been me. That may have been on me. Maybe it's an excellent subtitle. Hey, this is this is a this is view to a spill is really bad. <laughs> oh yeah. View to again krill grill gill. Well, you see that ties into this game's environmental message because you're all about cleaning up the ocean. Remember back in the 90s when everyone's... Um... Um... Uh, huh? When everyone's favorite hobby, hobby was dumping oil in the ocean? Yeah, it really sucked. Yeah. Oh, this is some nice pixel art. Look I at that. the Titanic. Okay. Is this a town sequence? Are you gathering clues? Yeah, I... What am I... I found an object. It's the Titanic. Does that count? Looks like the Flintstones house, but underwater. Does any of this do anything? We went up to the door and it said, look for items. No, well, let's go. Is this a dizzy like? I don't think so, because you don't have a persistent inventory. Or do you? <laughs> I don't think I have. Oh god, oh god, oh god. The explosions. Oh yeah, there's, o there's oil, there's pesticides, all sorts of shit getting in the ocean. And you gotta stop it. So you may consider James Pond to be in the same vein as something like, say, Awesome Possum? It plays better than Awesome Possum. Really? A lot better, yeah. I, I would much rather play this than Awesome Possum. Drag says, be careful when you play any James Pond games because I'm pretty sure you get cursed when you do. Well, good news, we're playing all of them tonight. <laughs> Not every port, because good lord, that would take days. James, James, you 
You fool. You fool of a fish. Don't Jump. don't call him James. Call him Pond. James Pond. Please, just... I want you to get those hot dogs, for the love of God, James! The bacony stink of Amiga, that's so evocative. <laughs> yeah, that could be it. We get cursed, and then we get uncursed, and then cursed, and then uncursed. Okay, whatever, I'm gonna get these hot dogs instead. We got four games tonight. Did you know there were four James Pond games for Genesis? I did not know that. So far, I think you've played more of the original James Pond than anyone ever has. Okay. I think I have to blow. Yes? This up. Oh, okay. <laughs> there. Happy Friday, everybody. Well, yeah, that was, that was good thinking, but, um... Nothing happened, yeah. Okay, um... Hey. Uh-huh. Yep. Whoop. Yeah, okay. I got this. Can I bomb the ship? Um. Extra. Yeah! Sniff the glue, James Bond. No, I'm stuck! Oh, I sniffed too much glue. Let's okay. sniffing that glue. Oh, okay. James Pond is a little extra, if you know what I mean. Uh, I can tell you where to stick it. Actually, I don't know. It looks like you need to gum up those pipes, right? Yeah. You're just a fish with a pair of dynamites looking, looking for anything to do. I just now noticed in the lower right, look at him, you made him happy. Oh, he's happy. At the base of the pipe? That's thinking like an eco-terrorist. <laughs> yes, that was it! Base all of the right. pipe! Okay! Thanks to all the eco-terrorists who are watching. We, uh, we cannot officially endorse your, what you do. I but... they they're, they're watching on us on a rock or something. <laughs> Y'all get results. You can just imagine the explosion. Yeah, boom. No, ah. Ah, ooh, ow, ow. What? Huh? The game just blacks out like this. Oh, you got one of them 5G rocks? Good. You're all set. Hell. I will say I like... Well, I don't like the music, but it's better than in a lot of EA games from this period. Too easy to get generated in this game. I'd say this is a pretty decent knockoff of, uh... James Gunn? Peter Gunn. Who's James Gunn? James Gunn's the director. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that guy. No, Peter Gunn is different from James Gunn. The game's just getting bored and nodding off. That's why the screen blacks out. Okay. I need another dynamite. They tried to kickstart a new James Pond? Yeah! Do you remember that? No! I remember... I remember the Booger Man. I remember Rap Rabbit. I remember Psychonauts 2. Whatever happened to that? I think my friends are, won't shut up about it. <laughs> How what? did I... Um... Is it... Is it fine? I don't know about this game. Oh, what don't you know? Is it is it the 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 the, the random blacking out of the screen? Is yeah. It the... Is that just me or is it the game? Please say it's the game. It's it's the game. Okay, I hate good. It. Yeah, unfortunately, Boogerman did not make it. <laughs> he died in the hospital. No, his Kickstarter. I was gonna say. His, his Kickstarter unfortunately failed. And I assume James Pons did as well. I'm feeling punchy tonight. I don't know why. Yeah. Maybe it's because my license was revoked. Here you go. It's your turn. <laughs> oh, God. That's the original James Pond. You may notice that's not a platformer, so we're not going to rank it. Thank God. I, I'm going to rank the big fat goose egg. Big fat zero from Alex. Mm-hmm. It wasn't... No, I mean, if I... What about this? I don't know, what do we think about the fish with human hands? 
Thank you, Invaderoid, for the seven-month resub. Fish roar. <laughs> he did roar. It's kind of disturbing. Well, that's the original James Pond, and we've ranked James Pond 2 before, but why not give you a little bit of a refresher on what that is? This world-famous game ported to 40, perhaps 50 platforms in its time. Do you want me to show off the cover? Yeah. There it is. That's he's back. good. He's bigger. He's better. He's stronger than ever before. You may have seen this on the shelf at your local EB Games or GameStop, or you may have enjoyed a very popular magazine advertisement from the time. Y'all remember this shit? I remember this shit. I fucking remember this. Alex, you wanna you wanna play the role of James Pond, and I'll play the role of uh, the mysterious other character. Mm -hmm. Go for Can it. Can you fly? Can you drive? Can you stretch up high? Can you? No, I'm out of here. Who could have said that? Who is this mysterious blur of blue on the side of the ad? I have no idea. But that's the ad. That's how they promoted this game to American kids. To me, it just looks like he just confronted Sonic while he was trying to have a meal at the local diner. <laughs> like, scroll up a little bit. Yeah. Like, Sonic was just sitting there on the on the stool, and he stretched up and puffed up his chest, and he's like, You think you're so good? You, can you fly? Can you stretch up high? I don't think so. Look at this! And what look makes at you he's think? holding his, like, milkshake, like, you know. And Sonic, he sees this shit, like, every day. He gets, like, four or five different mascots trying to step up to him. Trying to That's be why like, he left. He's like, yeah. you know what? It's like Sonic says, you know, just, just, just walk away. When it's not right to fight. Me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Very valuable lesson. Well, if you were convinced by that ad, you bought this game. And then when you took it home, it looked like uh, this. Yeah, Blab, you're right. Sonic has flown, driven, and been stretchy in 2021. He's yeah. Sonic's done everything. And what has James Pond done in this? He's time? a real Renaissance hog. It's Robocod. Ah. I like the fake uh, Robocop theme. How Amiga is this game? It's so Amiga that it has a tie in with a Europe exclusive candy. That's how Amiga it is. See, he can stretch up high. Oh, he sure can. This game also has a fairly well-known cheat. I don't think we showed it off last time we played. Uh, if you get the, if you collect these items to spell the word cheat, you get something cool. So you start by collecting the cake, and then the uh, the hammer, and then the earth, and then the apple, and then the tap, and now you're oh. invincible forever. Oh, hey! Well, useful. Actually, it's not forever. It's just 20 minutes, actually. And then oh. they shut it off unceremoniously. They're like, no, sorry. So even the cheats kind of suck in this game. Okay, according to Revenant, the Super UFO Pro Cartridge copy or for SNES, which was manufactured until very recently, ripped off the music from this game, which is wow, definitely cool. a choice. Yeah, it is a choice, ain't it? Good for them. At least they got some use out of this. Now, I talk shit, but this is a better than Bubsy game. This is an Angel Bubsy somehow. It's it pretty... It's alright. It's not super egregiously bad. It's just Amiga is all hell. And it depends on how much you can stomach Amiga games. How much you're gonna enjoy this. Well, I say it a lot, but he sure is a little freak, isn't he? Oh yeah. They got him dressed up like Robocop. And he's also James Bond at the same time, so he's James Bond Robocop. And it's like tied in with like penguin chocolate. I say why stop there? Why not also make him the Terminator? And uh, the alien xenomorph. And, the, and the Predator. Say, I was gonna say make him Predator too, yeah. <laughs> yeah, make him the Freddy? Make him the Predator from Predator 2. And Freddy and Jason. Yeah. Just just whatever, you know, we don't care anymore. Anymore. Just add in a new movie parody every game you release. He'll be Robocop James Bond, uh, uh, Master of Disguise. Pistachio Disguisey, that's his name. <laughs> I killed Glover and I collected his teeth! Little you see grim, that? Little Grim. Like, fucking. Oh, that one didn't even have teeth! That's even worse! It's 
somehow this got released on Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, Amiga CD32, along with a regular Amiga. Like I said before, it later got ported to GBA and PS1. People could not let James Pond go. Oh, he's flying to heaven! You gotta save his penguin buddies. They're the mascot of some fucking candy or something. Yeah, hold on. I want to look up what candy that is. Hold on. James Pond to candy. No, no. Was it Quavers? Or is that something else? No. Someone, please. I may have just entirely made that up. No, it, it did have a tie-in. I remember that. Okay. Is it called Penguins? Come on, Wikipedia. You must know. Oh, you know the title music is Marimba Heavy, but you don't know who it tied in with. Come on. Here we go, product placement. Uh, penguins, bi penguin biscuits. Ah, that's why you're collecting penguins. Delicious penguin biscuits. You think they're even made by actual penguins? Um, you know what? I think they are, and uh, that's why they're so expensive. Um, according to a 1994 article in the UK edition of PC Gamer, Penguin outsold our rival Kit Kat for the first time in the product's history soon after the release of this game. Whoa! I don't believe it. This it, game made him take citation down... Citation needed, it says. Oh, citation okay. Needed. Citation needed. That just sounds like wishful thinking to me. It does. Somehow I managed to get stuck, and I'm invincible, so I can't, uh, you know, can't just wow. die. I'd love to be able to grab this level exit up here, but you kind of can't do that. But we've ranked this before. You can play this on any number of platforms. So we should probably, you know, get around to new business. And by new business, of course, I mean the third game in the series, the Aquatic Games. <laughs> Alex, show the folks what that looks like. <laughs> the Aquabats? Yeah, they were kind of hard up for money back then. Had to turn to their old buddy James Pond. <laughs> I don't know what happened to him, though. I don't... He doesn't really look much like his normal self. I'm excited to see the Aquabats, sure, but... I'm not so sure about James Pond. Do you want to play this, or should I? Um, I... Okay, we're being told that... What about Operation Moonfish? Was that next? What the fuck is Operation Moonfish? <laughs> I, it wasn't on Genesis. <laughs> we're gonna play the aquatic games. Let's do it. I've never seen this before. This is new to me. Same. I'm excited. I saw this for rent at Video Central. No one ever rented it. Where's the game? Is there a game? No, put it back. Put it back. No, I don't no, want... I don't... No. Mm. I have a feeling this isn't the Aquabats I want them to be. Oh, you're right. I didn't change the name. Shoot. Yeah, don't worry about it. Okay, let me get that. There we go. Is that going to fit? Wow, yeah, it barely. barely fits. So are you playing or am I? You're going to have to play James Bond 3, so... I'll do it. Okay. James Bond and... James James Ponda's workout? I don't like the look of any of this. Can I just say no? Oh, you're picking an event or something. A fantastic foursome. That sounds good. Yeah. That no, sounds about I right. I wanted to... How do you... Maybe start? No. Let me, let me go back to fo fantastic foursome. There, we, there go. we go. The Swamp Bay Splashers with trainer Steve Clam. Hey, what's with uh, Patrick Starfish? It's just Patrick Starfish. <laughs> what the fuck? But he's got a belly button. It looks ups But look at that obscene belly button. Patrick Star, you're naked. Where'd your clothes go? Oh, fuck this. <laughs> oh, God, it's an Olympic style button bashing game. God help us all. There you go. 
Oh my god, he's walking on the water. He's Jesus. He's actually better than Jesus. He's doing really... Alex, look in the lower right corner. <laughs> you can't! You can't distract me! I'm sorry, I sabotaged that run. <laughs> Poor results! Poor result, James Pond. Poor Kids result. jump sleeps? What do you want from me? A real guy named James Pond in the American Civil War. I hope it was this James Pond. Okay, trying this again. Featuring Hopping Harry and Jumping Jack. We're meeting all kinds of new friends. Creator of James Pond went on to make Medieval. Yeah, these were... This was an actual studio, Millennium Interactive it was called. Damn, you were too slow by one second and um, 66 milliseconds. No, 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 no. No, I am not going to jump. I am... Where is Ricky Fitness? Do it, bash them buttons. Give him a bash. Oh my god, you might be able to do this. Come on, go, 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 go! Oh my god! This is pissing me off so close! <laughs> oh, we still have links disabled, but uh, I do want to see that James Pond uh, no, Kickstarter. No, no, last I... try, last try. All right. My trainer is Billy the Squid, huh? Ooh, now you can do it. Now that you're being trained by the best. Here we go. Yeah, Alex is going to win. Yeah, that 17-second qualifier is a killer. Like, Jesus Christ. Alex, do I need to get you a ruler that you can uh, rub across the buttons? I might. I might. I might need that. I might need that. I might need that. I might need that. I am in hell. Alex, we got to get you on a training regimen. We'll start off with Mega Man. You can learn how to claw grip the controller and uh, push the fire button with your index finger. No, no, no. You giving it another shot? Did I lose? Yeah, don't tell I me think, how I... I think they kicked you out of the Olympics. Well, too bad I'm back. Uh, is this, is this an Olympic event? Qualify four minutes? You have to do this for four minutes? That sounds like hell to me. Four minutes. To play bullshit seal missile command. Okay. Dong. Oh, look out, they're becoming aware. Drinking a pitcher of raw eggs, except it's penguin biscuits. Yeah, blend them up. It's not... The thing is, it's not up to four minutes. It's qualifying. The, the, all seals frightened off. <laughs> do you, do you want to hand it over? No. Okay. Alex found his game. Mickey O'Shell, let's do it. Okay, the, um... You know, in the last screen it said the gold medal time was four minutes, and the bronze was two, and yet it says... Incredibly fast, wow! Yeah, that was a new world record. No, no, I need to, I need to... No, 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 fuck this. Uh, pardon my French. No. No, Impossible game for fish. <laughs> this is esports, yes. This is the next big event. Bounce these. Puff. 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 Yep, could be owned by Sony, given the lineage uh, posted by Tiki there. Get away, get away, get away! Boo! Bat, what? Eventually became Gorilla Cambridge. It's like what the kill zone people. Speaking of kill zones, this is your last chance. The colored balls scare them off faster, apparently. 
Horizon Forbidden Pond. <laughs> Yeah, qualifying takes four minutes. Four freaking minutes. But the previous screen, the timer said you only needed two minutes for a bronze, so I don't know who to believe. Oh yeah, there was a Vita kill zone. I forgot all about that. To qualify for the non-seal scaring championships, you know? Oh, was this game designed for the four-player mode? That would make sense. If you gotta have these games balanced around four players, they might be a little rough to play. I think you got this one. Well, you know what's worse than bad Vita FPSs? Bad PSP FPSs. What was that one where you had to control it with, like, the face buttons? Contagion? Fucking Coded Arms? Is Coded Arms a game? Stop, 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 well, It all seems so long ago. No! Oh, no! You were doing so well. You were doing so well. In the end, you did not qualify. So I guess we must move on. It's a hop, skip, and a jump. Flashers, huh? Steve, Steve Clam, Clam makes his return. Okay. Another button basher where you control his, uh... Is that Super Frog? I didn't jump. That better not be Super Frog. I think that's Super Frog. I'm gonna be so mad if that's Super Frog. There's some people out there who want a James Pond 4. What is this? A big open world adventure. Okay. Mission based level structure. Many hijackable vehicles. Poor result. It's okay. Da, 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 da. No, 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 I got this. I don't think Super Frog was by the James Pond guys. It wasn't Millennium. It's You're baffled fine. and confused? Imagine kids back in 1990, uh, whenever. Three, I think it was. I mean, would you buy this game? <laughs> For once, I, I saw got the control, and yeah. I saw you got it, and then, no. <laughs> It does look like PS2 era Frogger. <laughs> By the way, Sass, I'm ripping off uh, your idea. We're gonna play all the Frogger games one of these days. There's just too much cursed shit there. I do like how bad I am at this, honestly. You're bad at every event. It's actually a skill to be this bad. Why wasn't James Pond 64 What thing? is going on? You gotta hop, skip, and jump, you see. Hot. Yeah, there are at least 30 Frogger games. That's not an exaggeration. Okay. This was almost on NES. I believe that. Last try. They put everything on NES. Hop, skip, jump! I've tried everything! <laughs> uh, the most cursed Frogger game is a tie between the uh, slot machine, the Xbox Live Arcade game, and um, the PS2 game where he's on a horny quest. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, y'all can clearly hear Alex pushing the buttons. Oh! Oh. I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay, it's fine. The PS2 one? Yeah, it's the one where he says he, he's gonna The Bouncy Castle! This ought to be fun! Is this fun? Is this gonna be fun? Oh! I'm sorry, now it's a platformer? Okay. Nice of you to show us the platformer 15 minutes into the game. You do know you're on Mascot Friday, right? 
Alex is gonna jest her out. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, there's a fucked up bouncy castle for sure. <laughs> I wouldn't let my kids in this. They just break their legs. Alex, I have good news. What? Are you, are you having fun? Yes. Because according to the timer, there's legitimately three more minutes to this. What am I supposed to be doing? I think it's uh, gymnastics or something. This is like fish gymnastics. Okay, okay, I'm gonna try to do some fun tricks. Okay. That's an ollie. That's a double ollie. Oh! Oh! There are tricks! <laughs> cool! <laughs> yeah, yeah! Do it! Oh. Okay, 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 I think I got this. <laughs> Did James get eaten by penguins in the second game? I missed that one. The style does look a little bit like an IP address. Don't dox yourself, James. It's fine. I'm fine, 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 I'm good. He gets eaten by penguins in the game over sequence. I'm almost tempted to put on the game right now and see that. No, no, please, I'm dancing beautifully for your entertainment! Yeah, you're doing great. Give us another 90 seconds. Okay, we got this. Oh, he's so graceful. Beautiful. God's bounty has never looked so magnificent in 240p. Oh, I was doing so well. Okay. You got right. 40 seconds. Finish strong. So far, you're getting a six from one judge. Yeah, Come on, I'm beautiful. There's I'm probably handsome. other tricks, but he's so I don't good at know spinning. Any other tricks. I got the spin. Spin to win. Go, baby. James. Go. Go, James. Go. Do it. Oh, James. I'm good. I got 10 seconds left. Watch this. Watch this. This is going to be so good. Yeah. The stationary spin trampoline. It's my favorite event, too. All right. Oh, you got put into timeout. Yeah, I deserve that. Poor result. You did 87 twists. Oh, my God. They want me to do it again. Okay. But now I know what I'm doing. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Hear me. Hear me. I'm free making no, judgments. No, no, Alex. Hear me. I'm not going to watch eight more minutes of this. It's... Go back. You can't hand over the controller. Okay, you, you, you did well. Let's congratulate uh, future Olympian Alex. Good work. What else is there in this game? Did you have fun? Four minutes is qualifying for the bronze, but what am I supposed to be doing? I'm sorry. I'm getting tilted at a video game, which is something I... We need James Ponda's workout. All right, try that one. Oh, you can, you can pick them. Okay. No, it just lets you pick the individual events. Mm -hmm. Is that oh. Super Frog? Whoops. It looks like him, but I don't think it is him. Yeah, yeah, here we go. This is an event. Ah, fuck. I really, really, really hate buff James Pond. I just want to put it out there. Oh, that... why? Not quick enough. Not even in the practice mode can you be quick enough. What's the tour de grass? Uh. Okay. Okay. 
This is the only button control. Each button makes you do this. Oh? Oh no. <laughs> Alex. You look like, it sounds like you hate this. Alex, in order to move in this event, you have to rotate the D-pad clockwise as fast as you can. My thumb is on fire. It is literally smoking. Yeah, um... But that wasn't fast enough. <laughs> Shell hey, shooting. This has been the first game I've played where I've been like, you know what? I understand why people punch the wall when they're angry at video games. <laughs> you finally get... I, I want to punch the wall. Yeah, fair I'm, enough. This is actually... No, I this is, this is a... This is a healing moment for me. I finally feel some kinship with, you know, folks who may feel that way because it's just, yeah, it's impossible. You're embracing your inner gamer. No, never. But I am embracing my inner games, Mims. No, I will never be a, I will... I don't know. I'm going to punch a wall, not punch James. What is Danny doing? Who knows? I don't know. Does anybody know? There's no instructions for this incredibly high concept game. <laughs> yeah, you know you're a giant fish stomping on little uh, crustaceans and there's like balls on the ceiling. You know what to do. Wait a minute. Is it like hacky sack? That's what I'm thinking. Oh my fucking god. And you have to hack them into those balls up there, I assume. Oh, yeah, I get it now. I absolutely get it. Here this we go. Sucks. Check it out. Okay. Check, check this out. See? Hey! So, what do you think about the controls in this game? Um, why are they like this? It's not good, is it? I see. You push A to scoop them up. You know, I didn't understand why they made these events so long, but now I know why. It's long enough to actually figure out what to do. God. I just... Please. Oh, Jesus Christ! No, Danny has not punched the wall, but <laughs> I may punch it for them. Feeding time. Okay, it's gotta be normal. <laughs> Why is this obscene? I see. The little fishies are all gone. <laughs> Give me exactly five seconds. Okay. <laughs> Fake game. Well, that's... That was educational. I'm glad that we saw all that James Pond has to offer so we can finally build up... I was going to say, we went through those games pretty fast. We can finally build up to tonight's main event. James Pond 3, Operation Starfish. Please show us the box art. Please. Hey, why does he look so different? What looking, happened? He's looking pretty different there. I like him. I like it better than he was in aquatic games, though, because Jesus. Oh, 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 you're anti-aquatic games? Yeah. You're anti-this? Yes, you yes. Don't like don't, that? No, put it back. Okay. Thank you. James Pond 3, he's back. Few people know about this one. This was only ported to Amiga CD32. I think it was on regular Amiga as well. And then like one other platform that I can't remember. This game did not get the coverage that James Pond 2 did. But is it secretly the best in the series? Is it? I'm gonna find out live. Here you go, Alex. Oh, okay. Well, that was less gameplay than I was expecting from the previous James Pond games, but that's fine. <laughs> 
<laughs> we'll make do. Country gamers make do. Aquatic games was fucking turd. What the hell? <laughs> Even if you like Olympic style games. Yeah. There he is. I don't like him. Fish shouldn't have arms. It's disturbing. Oh, it's a direct sequel to James Pond 2. Intent Upon Revenge. Dr. Maybe. As, uh, it's upon a dastardly new plan. I hate this font. Yeah, it's very... It reminds me of a cartoon slice of cheddar cheese. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why. Swiss cheese. Swiss, yes. Yo, speaking of cool vermin. Do you subscribe to vermin today? Yes. I, that's why it's so cheese-like. It's a cheese theme. Ooh, Rap City. Rats a rat scores own goal. Own goal? God, I want to live in Rat City. So oh, an army of rodents, and he's a bad guy. I see how it is. Graphics are so Amiga, it's painful. So Amiga. Okay. So we're still on the moon cheese to uh, destroy the Earth. Mm hmm. Operation Starfish. Oh, you get what they're doing here? Mmm, yeah. You can't call it a new hope. You can't just call it the thing that you're parodying. <laughs> God damn it, James Bond. Don't you know anything? You stupid fucking fish. It's a period of unrest throughout the world. Oh, trade. yeah. Tell me all about the government trade routes. The same trap that George Lucas fell into. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Everybody wants to hear about the... The laws and the governing bodies and the anything but the action. All right, so we're undercutting the cheese market. They're undercutting the cheese market with cut-rate moon cheese. I see. And it's funding terrorism. No. Of course wrong it is. Hits. That is the wrong it's. Fuck <laughs> you. I just said that to. I just mentioned it to piss you off. <laughs> God damn it. All right, we're gonna restore freedom. I haven't even started the game, and I'm already already done with it, just All completely. Right. Was this on Super Nintendo? I didn't hear about that. Maybe it was. I've only ever seen this on Genesis. What are my options? Uh, not to play James Pond. I don't have that option, unfortunately. Oh yeah, you don't. <laughs> yeah. It's Forced to play James Pond 3. Oh, Pete Cheese Pun. Edam? Mm hmm. Did I pronounce that right? I think that's how you pronounce it. Proximity Alert Green? Is that like the terror alert system? <laughs> Sorry. We are depending on you. Hey. Hey, this one talks. Don't talk to me. Was that James Pond himself? Yeah. Okay. Oh, he's raring to go. The biggest James Pond sprite to date. Rah, 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 rah. Look at his mouth. Rah, 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 oh, he is rah, rah, he's just eating as he runs. He's an eat and go kind of guy. Now, I've only ever seen the first screen of this game, but yes. There you go. Okay, now hold the run button while you do that. Which is, uh, tr yeah, there you go. <laughs> This is why we stream at 60 frames per second. Oh shit, he's off! He's off and he's running! Holy crap! Is this James Pond or is this Zool? You get a three hit life bar, that's pretty nice. He's a pretty sprightly fellow from having run at the uh, aquatic games with the Aquabats. <laughs> it's better than Bubsy in terms of speed at the very least. He's jaunty. He's a little bit too jaunty. I don't know if he's earned that kind of jauntiness. Definitely. Definitely a Sonic-like. This game is very much informed 
by the blue hedgehog. Oh, Got there's it. they've added context to the uh the level end markers. There you go, destroy it. Bam. Boom. Dead. Enemy <laughs> fatalities! <laughs> the way they say that! There's a certain art to the verbiage that you use in your games, and I think they mastered it. Enemy, enemy fatalities, teacups collected. <laughs> All the bonuses you'd expect in a normal video game. <laughs> yeah, they're getting that MK money. Good luck, Pond. That's the thing, he cannot stretch up high anymore. Did he forget? Did he lose his elasticity? Yeah, what the f mm. Maybe you get it back. Bye. Is it because he's not a robot anymore? Okay, yeah, he had a robot suit in two, so this is just plain old James Pond. Hey, watch out for the rats. We rebuilded him. <laughs> we rebuilt him. We made him stronger. And then we said, ah, fuck it, put it back. Okay. Is he even a fish anymore? You know, if you replace all your parts of your fish body, can you really say that you're a fish? What is that? Was that a punch? Yeah. It's actually kind of hard to do. You, ha it, uh, you can't, you have to pause and hold down the punch button and then press the direction you want to punch. Whoa, weird. Yeah. Why? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Pond Historia. <laughs> Somewhere out there is a huge wiki. It's a wiki no one has ever seen except for James Pond himself. Those rat sprites. I like them. They're wearing little Devo hats, see? Oh, they are. Come, come over here, dude. I need to hit you with this rock. Dude. 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 There we go. <laughs> We're seeing conflicting, uh, conflicting timelines in the James Pond universe, suggesting that he died at the end of two and this is a clone. The hardest thing in the world to hit. If Chuck E. Cheese was a construction worker, yep. Ah. Yodel, that's a good point. For the combat to be so slow and, uh, you know, weird, it really is at odds with how fast you can run. It is, yeah. Like, they just expect you to stop instantly and start punching ah. things. <laughs> and that's really fast! Okay, I can jump on their heads, too. Okay. Some of them. In an argument that he's basically aquatic Bubsy. We'll take that into consideration. Everybody wanted to be Boris when you were playing Goldeneye. That was the that was the guy in the Hawaiian shirt, right? I never played multiplayer. I didn't have any friends. But if I did, I would pick odd job, and that's why I don't have any friends. Okay. Okay. James Pond game for iOS! The title's a Harry Potter reference. How much more cursed can you get, James Pond? True, James Pond does not quip. Small favors. What if he did, though? It'd be all fish stuff. It'd be awful. <laughs> Just puking up fish stuff. No, I mean, that's what he'd be saying. He'd be making a bunch of fish puns. It'd be oh, fucking okay. awful. Yeah. I read, I read something in the chat about the attacks, and that uh, made me think of that. It would be pretty cool if he could just puke up all the time <laughs> as a method of attack. <laughs> now that you mention no, it. No, why are you... Please, baby. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, rat. Rats are against Don't me. Don't check James Bond's Twitter. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm almost dead, but I'm fine. Is that what it was? James Pond and the Deathly Swallows? I'm gonna have to look that up. That's a terrible name. 
I don't. Okay, I just look at his face when he jumps. It's awful. <laughs> he looks like a Muppet. Okay. No. No. James Pond Deathly. James Pond in the Deathly Shallows. You see. Uh, no. James. I like this curled up pinup image that you get when you when you Google that. Please show me. What do you think of that tail? Why is he posing so sexily? Yeah, this is like a shoot 'em up or something, completely unlike the other games. That's the one people were t telling us to play. Unfortunately, don't have a way of playing that. I don't even have the app or anything. You, can you even get it anymore? I bet someone pirated it, so you could probably just like sideload it. Well, now that I'm here on Google, Ouch. James James Pond irate gamer. No, 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 no. Okay. Going this way. The Structoid reviewed it. Remember when people gave a shit and reviewed iOS games, treating them like they were anything except incredibly disposable? Hey. They gave it a one out this. of ten. Whoa, that's a terrible balancing animation. What the fuck? You're not getting any gamer score for that. Double the croc rations and something. It's like, hold on, can't go too fast. Well, you mean, I, I mean... No! I mean, since we're already here at the Irate Gamers uh, webpage. AVGN reviewed Green Dog six hours ago? How do you have 15 minutes to say about... What do you, what do you even say in 15 minutes about Green Dog? It's a bad game. Honey, we had like we talked about Green Dog for probably thirty minutes. Oh yeah, what am I talking about? Well, Alex likes the game, but the question is, do no. I like the game? <laughs> you gamed over. Well, give give me. Okay. I gotta. Are you sure? okay? Let me play. <laughs> All right, here we go. James Pond Three, as played by an expert. Oh, there's passwords. After I game over, remind me to enter a password for the last level. Please, yeah, okay. Okay, blind playthrough starts in three, two, one. Let's do it. Well, so far I know about this. I don't know what the purpose of this is, but I assume it has, uh, has some purpose. They wouldn't just put this in here for fun, right? Ooh. You see that? Nice. Real gamer trick. Thank you. Uh -huh. I like the way you're holding it like it's your friend. This cheese is my friend. Oh, wait a minute. This is something like the cheat thing from, um, from Robocod, right? Where you pick up the items in a certain order. Yeah, there's, uh... Cheese, umbrella, bomb, something. What does that spell? Chumby. <laughs> hey, British people, do you say chumby? Yeah, is that where I got it from? Chumby. I'm gonna take this cheese all the way to the end of the game. You get an achievement for that. God damn it, my cheese! It's been spiked! You got chumbed. <laughs> Chumby Wumby, Chumby Wamby, <laughs> Chumbo Bumblo. Okay, we got a bomb, we got cheese, we got umbrella, we got dynamite. That's D U B C. Duck B. Bud C. Ah. Fucking whatever, I'm taking this cheese. <laughs> nice. That was, a, that was a hell of a fall. It was. Whoa, okay. All right. Oh, this. Oh, jeez. 
Oh man, you didn't tell me the game played like this. I mean, I thought that was evident from the way I was... I was making little seething noises. <laughs> you always make little seething noises. That's true, it's, it's my... it's... I have two trademarks, my jester voice and seething noises. I unlocked a billion coins, look at that. Oh my god. Game loves me. It's all because of the cheese, baby. Yeah. What's your favorite cheese? Um, I... I hate... I, it feels like such a, a simple thing to say, but I love cheddar. Cheddar's really good. Cheddar is just fantastic. It's underrated. It's the vanilla of cheese. Oh, man. Yeah, you gotta punch it. I like provolone, personally. Provolone's good. <laughs> we have one enemy's blood on our hands. <laughs> James Bond kill count is currently one. I was gonna say, you got a blood bonus. I don't know where this is gonna end up on the list. I legit don't. Good luck, Pond. Do people consider this better than the second one? I don't know. Does anyone? Do people know anything about this game? Do people, do people like this game? Is there a community? Okay. see some fans. Alright. It's not a complete unknown. Some people know and love James Pond 3. What about these 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 hills though? Okay, so you gotta be careful. Uh, you can't you can't jump on those things. You can't just stand on them. Um, but you have to grab the uh, boulders and throw each boulder at them. It takes about three boulder hits to kill each one. Okay, thank you. Can you tell me why the game lets you run incredibly fast and then just something immediately hits you? Uh, it's a cruel game. Yeah. Oh, it's just two hits then, okay. Can I punch? You can, but they will come back too fast at you and you'll get generated. I, just give me... Okay. It's just another rock! <laughs> you fell for the rock. What in the fuck? I just realized, is he wearing like a tracksuit? Is that what it is? Is that what happened to the aquatic games? He learned how to run really fast? Look at that little pose. You see that? Yeah. Hey, look at your face in the top uh, right, top left corner. You look sad. He does look sad. I can freeze frame it. Check it out. Freeze frame. <laughs> what a cool pose. Imagine the cover of Sonic Adventure, but it's James Pond instead. <laughs> Sorry. I'm envisioning that in my mind's eye, and it's so good. It's pretty good. Fuck. He's too fast! He is, right? He's just too fast. It's got all these things where you run around the side and on the ceilings and stuff, like it's freaking uh, Mohawk and Headphone Jack. Yeah, yeah, that's the game I was thinking of. But it's making me less nauseous, so it's better. Yeah, you can control the speed a little bit better, at least. I don't think I'm gonna puke from this. Speak for yourself. <laughs> Fair enough. God. This is impossible. This is an impossible game for fish. You gotta keep going. I gotta. You have to. Would you... Danny, got a question from chat. Yeah. <laughs> Would you visit a James Pond escape room? I don't think I would, because that would be underwater, right? I, I assume so. And it probably, it, it's probably one of those things where you have to collect like a hundred items. Oh, and there's like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of items. Someone literally just goes to like the dollar store, buys out like every single thing there and just like, <laughs> I, I, 
I imagine, I'm just imagining someone just like buying a big thing of marbles and just tossing them throughout the entire room, <laughs> some candy. They just and... like float a Toys R Us or something. Mm -hmm. I got the first level down. First level's kind of fine. I can get through that with one fatality. You need more fatalities. Do I? But they're like little critters, too. They're like, they don't even come up to my fishy knees. Kusu, you're right. He does look more like a frog than a fish, and it pisses me off. What if we take this level slow? Well, you kind of can't on these slopes, but... Yeah. I mean, if someone wanted to replace my torso with a, ro with a robot torso in an escape room, I wouldn't object. I mean... Whatever helps you escape. Free bottom surgery. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, at James Pond, it would be an empty it would be an empty room with two trampolines. Yeah, I can see that. And a ball pit. Okay, okay. And you have to collect every single green ball in there. Not the, not the lime green ones. Not the not the teal ones, but the green. The yeah, and green if you ones. touch the wrong color ball, you have to uh, let go of all the balls in your possession. Just put them in the pit. James, did you just get smashed on the head with a mallet? People have this complaint about Sonic, too, where you're expected to go fast, but there's also enemies in your path, and that kind of harshes your buzz. But here it's more overt. At least Sonic could roll into a ball. At least he could spin dash. This guy, he has no choice but to get just smash into enemies. Or he could come to a full stop, assume combat position, and then punch left or right. Isn't it horrible the way that combat position stuff works? I hate it. Yeah, yeah. There he goes. really short ranged. It's bad. I don't think three hits is enough, frankly, for all the hits that you're taking just because <laughs> you want to run and have fun. It's like, nope, sorry, you're being fine. God! <laughs> These tiny enemies are so... They're little bastards. I'm sorry. They are. I can't get anywhere with this. This game is not giving me an inch. have question for you and for chat okay so what kind of fish do you think james pond is do you think he's a white fish or like a or like a flaky fish like flaky red fish like a salmon i think he's like a cod right i, I guess a cod okay so he's like a. you know what that means yeah cod is what they use in fish and chips He's tasty, then. He's delicious! I love fish and chips. I know, right? If he was fried and battered, he'd be so good. Mm-hmm. Get some lemon on there. Nice side of tartar sauce. Mmm. Mmm, Parmesan plains. Night, bad idea. Good night. All right, he's battered cod. He's a mud skipper. Okay, we got one, 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 one fan doesn't want us to eat. Oh, oh, his face there. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he looks pained. He looks pained. <laughs> oh, I don't know about this. I don't think this is anything I ever want to play. <laughs> Come on, really? Ah! I'm, sorry. I'm trying to have fun here. I just got home from a hard day at school. I've done all my homework. Mom said we could rent one game from Blockbuster and we get to keep it all weekend. And this is what I pick. That didn't actually happen, but I'm just trying to put you in the mindset. What's the password? Anyone got a password for this? I don't got passwords. Um... <laughs> <laughs> um. Piss off, 
game? Why would you do this, though? Why would you do this? It's a simple platformer. The password should be like four characters long, and it should be fucking letters! Let's, let's look up some passwords. <laughs> God damn, James Pond 3, bringing my stream to a screeching halt. I'm sorry, I'm crying. This fucking sucks, dude. This is bad. How y'all doing? I'm okay. I found the list of passwords. Well, here's the thing. There's individual level level passwords, but there's also a level select password. Alex. Mm -hmm. It's not just symbols. There's different colors of symbols that you have to enter. You can't see it, but I, I, I have my... I had my head in my hands. I... Can you read uh, where it says... <laughs> a fucking guy from LinkedIn popped up and started talking to me. I'm reading game facts on a non-adblock uh, browser, and it's pretty bad. Uh, you want to read me this level select code, please? Watch out for the ads. Red cheese. Okay, hang on. I gotta find the cheese. Does anyone see the red cheese? Is this it? Yeah. Okay. Yellow mouse. Mouse, huh? Okay. Green cat. Blue dog. What's this little fucker coming in for? He's hugging the cheese. Oh. <laughs> All right. Return to the main menu. Yeah. Highlight options. Hold left and B. Press start. Thank you. you. Good are work. Welcome. We got the build date too. Four different colors of a simple based password that's up to 20 characters long, unless you cheat. You're not even giving me level names or anything? You're just like level seven? Oh, it's not even real numbers? It's hexadecimal? I see how it is. This is prison rules level select. There we go. This level. Why is this game such a chore 100% of the time? Little Curdlington. Good luck, Pond. Ah. Um. Oh no, every household items. I will say, this game does have nice rats. Pretty good rats. Can I, can I get the cake? Can I, there we go. Can I eat it? No? Did I disable the music? I did think you? I did. I think you did. I think, I think yeah, I must that's have. That's okay. That's fine. We don't need music. I can make up my own music. Please don't. Okay. Whoa! Beauty and the Beast rip off much? I was gonna say Mrs. Potts has got your ass. <laughs> Mrs. Potts can get it. <laughs> I'm just thinking of that one image. Fuck you. What image? What image, Alex?
there's a thing in here? Don't ban me. <laughs> Good news, I got a hammer. Okay. You know what? I'll do you a favor. I won't look for him on your computer. Okay. Mrs. Potts Thick. <laughs> it's a life, Jim, but not as we know it. There she is! Oh, okay. You know this image. No. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Only because you showed it to me. Thank you. Doing good. No, I'm not showing it. No one's showing it. This is... This is... <laughs> Knock it off. Oh, boy. Things go off the rails real quick when you no! decide to make an entire stream about James Pond. What hath God wrought? No one posted in the Discord. No one posts. Knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> My own fault. You can look it up on your own time. Mm -hmm. I can't. It's not letting me. I got to go in the level and find the thing that activates the next level. It's not so simple as merely just clearing. You know, I would reset, but then I'd have to enter that password again. Yeah. I'm going to reset. Okay, finishing the level without getting all the teacups will just boot, boot you to map select. Wow. That sucks, though. Mm. I don't want to know that hide-and-seek bullshit. Okay, good. Left and B on the options group. Okay. And then start. Let's go to the last level. Okay, so the audio is on sound effects only. We may want to change that so we can get the music. Good call. I was just trying to get the original Amiga experience, you know. Nah, fair, fair. How many levels? How many levels? How many levels? Yeah, sure. Yes. Hey, we beat the game! Holy wow! Shit, we did it. Wow, it's been a long trip, everybody, but we finally wow. beat Dr. Maybe. He's back in prison. We're ironically serving him a tiny piece of cheese. And the world is safe once again. But for how long? Jolly well done, Pond. Was he a member of the fish police? Whoa. No, it's it's like British fish police. Okay. The fish fish boppy. Fish boppies. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> and we end it with a race to the joke. Which Alex won for once. I know. Operation Starfish! Hey! That was Dr. Hubert C. Maybe. Remember when we fought him? Yeah, that was scary. I was like, how's Danny gonna do this? Oh, I like them. Maybe this game will win me over in the credits. If there's enough good rats. <gasps> Turbo Verm. Okay, I like Turbo Verm. While we look at these characters, how about y'all in chat brainstorm? another potential game we could rank tonight for Sega Genesis. I'm going to look up my Genesis list of mascot platformers. Space Yob. We have played Chacon. Oh, you better believe we played Chacon. Hard hat rat. Hard hat rat. Hard hat rat. Okay, Vector Man 2. 49 a rat? I wish I could have seen that. It's a miner, see? A tribute to Miner 2049 or Johnny Ratton! That's good. That's really That's good. That's really good. This is charming me. Virtual Pinball, Holy Diver, Bob, multiple. Virtual Pinball's Bob. not a platformer. 
Captain Verminous. People really want Bob. B O B. Really? Pirate. I like pirate. Is it correct? I like it correct. Holy diver. Okay. Any of these sound good? Oh, holy diver sounds good. Uh, but a lot of requests for Bob. Space funky Bob. Mm-hmm. Okay, so here's what's in my list. Games we haven't played. Blaster Master 2. Earthworm Jim. I'm gonna veto Earthworm Jim for the time being. Thank you. We play Shadow Blasters? I don't remember. Tin Head? We haven't played Tin Head. We haven't played Vector Man 2. Blades of Vengeance. Bubba and Sticks. Or Bubble and Squeak. We haven't played Cosmic Spacehead. Um, Genesis Joe and Mac? That's kind of pushing it. Mystic Defender? Shadow Blasters, Shadow Blasters. Could do Sid of Valis. I really like Shadow Blasters as a thing. Morbid Martian! Oh, he looks sad. He does. Sure X Mutants. X Mutants? Going once, going twice. Stargate? We got any Stargate fans? Or Shadow Master. Uh, a couple of requests for Cosmic Space Head. You're a fungus freak. Yeah, I am. Um, the Taz, Taz and Escape from Mars. Oh, I forgot about the Tasmania sequel. I like the sound of that. Ooh, I like the sound of that. The Verminator. Get fucked. Danny. I'm, look, I'm sorry. I should be professional. Verminator 2? All right. You're back in my good graces. Welcome. The X-Men games. Midnight Resistance. Strider Returns. Pretend I didn't say Strider Returns. I do like the Moonworm. Yeah, he's okay. That Jurassic Park game. That's a fun one. You get to control the, the raptor. Mm -hmm. That's the best part. And the human. Should have been a two-player mode where it's raptor versus human. It should have. So far, I'm leaning towards Taz and Escape from Mars. I've always been curious about that. I've never played it. I did rent and beat the original Tasmania. Not doing Jungle Book again. Jungle Book. Fatal Flora. This game has 10,000 enemies in it. It has so many enemies, they start naming them things like Cheesy Sap Bat. That's a good name. I don't know what you're complaining about. Alright, I see some chanting for Jelly Boy. I see some folks uh, clamoring for Taz. Jelly Boy or Taz, huh? Or think... Jungle Book. Something to think about. Egg. I'm mesmerized by the egg. It's a well-animated egg. Mm-hmm. Good egg. Mm. Next. No. That's Ugh. just disgusting. I'm getting out of here. Yeah, Fuck this. Go. Fuck you, James Bond. <laughs> I should take a long walk, walk off a short pier. I bet you'd like that, you fucking fish. Alright, what's this called? What are we playing? Taz and Escape from Mars. Oops. Why did I think we could play this for an hour? Now this is a game we could play for an hour. Oh man, do I need to turn this down? Probably. Wow, 1994! This is a hella late game. Head games! Have fun! Let me know if I need to rebind the controls. Uh, the controls are currently optimized for James Bond games. Looks 
Uh, actually, go to options. Uh, B should be jump. A should be spin. Keep it going. There you go. Oh. <laughs> what? Uh, it should be B jump, A spin. There okay. you go. That's it. Now, if I did it right, circle and triangle should be spinning and jumping. Tasmania! We played the original. It wasn't very good. It was no, sub bubsy. It was... But this one takes place on Mars with Marvin the Martian. How many Marvin the Martian shirts did you have as a kid? One. I had one. <laughs> All right, I have to ask the eternal question. Yeah. Did he have a backwards ball cap on? Yes, he did. Yes, me, mine too. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, the graphics in this are nice. Oh, look at this background. Yeah, this looks better than the other game. Look, you can see the fur on him now. That's advanced graphics. That's me when I'm yelling. Yeah. That's me when I get abducted. Mars. Well, the character graphics and background graphics are nice. Let's see if that translates into a good video game. Welcome. <laughs> Taz what? God, Ancient Aliens. Oh yeah, he's fast. Just like the first game, he is fast as shit. And he's learned some new tricks. Kind of like that level from eSWAT. Yeah, yeah, I know which one you're talking about. eSWAT. I don't think that's a game we ranked. Okay. Crush Gals, like, an instant before you said that, I was thinking that exact thing. Before I could even put it to voice, you managed to uh, put it to text. Yeah, Taz is kind of logy. He just ate a box of rocks. From the makers of X-Men 2, apparently. Very popular late Sega Genesis game. Well, it's a platform. It's a platformer. I don't think we have spin bound to the uh, fast forward button. It just looks like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Taz arrives on the surface of Mars and he just starts killing. Killing and eating everything in sight. Now, the first game was more of a standard left to right kind of thing. Sure, you moved up and down, but it was still pretty straightforward. This, though. This feels weird and different. Especially with the, the boost mechanic with your spinning. Don't eat the Red Cross! That's an international trademark! Not anymore! Okay, I'm at the... <laughs> yes, this is a game where you eat all the power-ups regardless of what they are. That's accurate to the first game, too. You approach anything edible in that game and it'll just eat it up. Some folks have memories of this. This is a pretty popular game. It got reprinted a couple of times. There's a cardboard box and a Mega Hits cardboard box release. So there's at least three re-releases for this. Oh my god! Oh my I'm god! Huge. You're big! You're big boy! But I can't. Whoa! Holy crap! I like this. That's so good. Okay. I might. I might be able to get into this. That was a huge ass sprite. Yeah, I like that. Years before the giant mushroom power up in New Super Mario Brothers, Sega was innovating with Taz. All y'all out there who wrote positive reviews of New Super Mario Brothers claiming it was innovative, take it back. Taz, please. 
Yeah, Sepasai, that's my experience too. I've seen it everywhere. I think I've owned at least three different copies of this game, <laughs> yet I've always ended up selling them off without ever actually playing the thing. Great. Thanks, Taz. Oh, Taz doesn't know what he's doing at all. It's just pure animal instinct. That's why we love him. Now, if you want intelligent Tasmanian devils, you gotta look to his family. Yeah, he's like the only dipshit in the family, isn't he? Yeah, he's like Chewbacca. <laughs> Is that an accurate joke? I've never actually seen the Star Wars Holiday Special. What? I'm sorry, it was too depressing. I had to turn it off. That's <laughs> No, no! No! It's fine? Eats rocks and drinks gasoline. That's our Tasmanian Devil. Oh, the other Wookiees only roar, too? Okay. Yeah. Damn. Sorry about your fan theory. My mom told me the other Wookiees talked. Did she lie to me? Or did she just misremember because she went to a fugue state while watching it like I did? Everyone goes to a fugue state when they watch it. Is that what it did? Gasoline makes him run on ceilings? <laughs> this game is sick. What's this, what's this telling our kids? Go ahead, eat bombs, drink gasoline. Who gives a shit? Danny, do you want them to, people to think of the children here? No. Well, Tasmanian devils are built different. They can drink gas. No one looked that up. Yeah, you trust us. Don't, don't look it up. I wouldn't say Taz is completely devoid of charisma. Oh, I see the anti-Taz brigade has shown up. Uh-huh. Hey, I live through the 90s. Taz is plenty charismatic. No! Alex, you're supposed to eat the gasoline, not the bomb. I don't know about this one. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know about this game. Okay. I don't know about you, Taz. You may have had two million copies of your game printed, but that doesn't mean it's any good. Oh, go back and get the health. There's a big ol' uh... Ooh, I don't know if you can beat that guy, though. Yeah. It's a nice birthday cake over there. Yeah, what's with this level design? It's so disjointed. It's not really so much a level as just a bunch of boxes you crawl into and out of. Okay, okay. Last life. What's Taz's PS2 game? Is that Taz Express? What am I doing? What? Oh god, okay, okay, okay. So far in the game's favor, big, big Taz. He's so big he's dithered. Look at that dithering on his fur. That's what Too we big. call art. Okay. Taz wanted, yeah, I've seen I've seen some of that. Is that really a 3D platformer? Do we have to rank it? Oh man. I think it is. You get a power up to play as hip hop Taz and Taz wanted. Well, hold the fucking phone. Sounds like we have next week's game already planned. Hip-hop Taz is very important to American culture. He is. Yeah, there you go. If you don't want power-ups, you can just spin into him. Okay. <laughs> A lot of people telling Taz not to eat the bombs. I'll say that Taz can do whatever he wants. If he wants to drink gas and eat bombs, who am I to stop him? Exactly. Don't infringe on his rights. Okay. 
This doesn't seem like a great first level. It is not. Okay. Hey, you did it. Nice. Is this still the first? You eat the exit sign. That's pretty good. I do like that. <laughs> hey, nice. You've now gotten further in this game than I ever have. Whew. Feel like you're on a marathon? Yes, actually. Feel I've like, got one life left. Feel like you've been in the aquatic games? <laughs> I've been doing the hop, skip, jump. No, Taz. Ta okay. Okay. No, no, okay. <laughs> he has a great digestive system. He doesn't have any problems eating or drinking any of this stuff. I know there's a lot of concern... Uh, concern chat. They worried he's, he's gonna, like, trigger his IBS or something? <laughs> it's fine. No, Tasmanian devils only drink gasoline when they're under distress. This isn't cute. <laughs> the same people behind Pink goes to Hollywood, huh? Hmm... Hmm, hmm, hmm. That pink game was ranked pretty low. That was that game that started you inside a uh, desiccated chicken, if you don't remember. No, no! And also, you were tiny for some reason? I remember. Oh, God! And it was turkey, if I recall. Right, it was a turkey. I'm fine. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I am... Oh. Why aren't you moving up? Okay. No! Your boy found Shrink Ray. Oh, he's little. He can still be injured. I don't know why I didn't... I thought he could be injured if he was little. You wouldn't hurt a little guy, would you? That's, that's what I was thinking. Okay. No, don't give me an extra life! I think that was a continue, actually. What? No! Let me die! <laughs> let my suffering end! Okay, up. Oops, it ain't. Little guy, you wouldn't hit him on his birthday. Taz. No! It some kind of, sometimes blows me away to see what was popular on Sega Genesis, you know? Like, we only play the good stuff, like Ernest Evans. But back then, all the kids were playing this. They were playing this, they were playing the X-Men games. They were playing, uh... Five copies of NBA Jam Tournament Edition, judging by how many copies I see pop up. Shouldn't have eaten that. Okay, Taz, be normal for me. <laughs> Your cartridge tilted Sonic 3 until it stopped working. Can you do that? Wow, you could just break a cartridge game. And the people who founded the company who made this were former developers at Extended Play, who, of course, made Chakan the Forever Man. It all comes back together. It's all connected. Follow the clues. See this gigantic map I pinned to the wall? With yarn connecting all the dots between Chakan and Tasmanian Devil. It's like the word, the words "hip hop baseball cap" T-shirt is in all caps. It's a, it's the key to all of this. Oh, and of course, Richard Scary's busy town. Wow, those guys did a lot. Don't spin the chicken. No, the chicken. The 
this looks like even if you like the first game, this game would just piss you off. Oh no! My turn. Hey, just All right, just... here it goes. Expert playthrough of Taz and Escape from Mars starts now. Let's do it. No more fucking around. All right, let's see Danny do this. Oh, it starts you from one one. Hey, that fucking sucks. That does fucking suck. So it controls just like the first game, in that once you spin up, you just completely lose control. <laughs> he bounces all over the place, this guy. Box of what? <laughs> Happy Friday! Don't mind if I do! <laughs> That's a point in this game's favor. No, the hamburger! You... That's the problem, is that you can destroy, like, the things you need so easily. It was like that in the first game, too, but the level design encouraged you to slow down when there was stuff to collect. Here, it's just kind of really... It's really haphazard, is what it is. This is kind of like the lost levels to the original Tasmania's Super Mario Brothers. In that it sucks. I was going to say this looks like it sucks. I mean, I played it and it sucked, but this just this isn't very enjoyable for me. No, not so much for me either. But I'll give it a shot so we can properly rank it and then move on. Freak. Yeah, this should be right up our alley. We love games where you play as little freaks. Rocky Rodent, an excellent little freak. Tasmanian Devil, you'd think he'd be right up there with Rocky Rodent. You would think. See, this doesn't look like a game that gets better. What? I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it kind of doesn't. Let me get the thing. I just... I just give me the thing. Here. I just... Uh, okay, we just... All right. There you, go. you just... Mm. Gotta do it. You just... Hey! See? Holy shit! I'm so proud of you! That's the hardest thing I've ever done. <laughs> that was for a life power-up in level one. I had to work for it. Oh, welcome to the maze. I hate this. How could anyone do this? God! Okay, no, that was a health power-up. Good. It looked like I was eating dynamite. Then you gotta go across. Then mm -hmm. you go, gotta go there. I got this. I'm an expert. Hey, good job. You did it way better than I did. I learned from the best. Now, level two. Oh god, this part. Have fun. Oh no, there's actual platforming. Oh, come on. Why haven't the VTubers discovered this game? That's what I'm wondering. They're going to. When's Corona gonna play Taz and Escape from Mars? <laughs> Like, don't you know a V don't you know some VTubers you can recommend this to? Can't yeah. you like put it through like the VTuber grapevine or whatever? Yeah, I'll put a lean on him. I'll convince him to play it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. They call me the VTuber Godfather. <laughs> we do need a VTuber Godfather. Oh my god! God. Sorry, I should I didn't mean to freak out. It's cool. The VOD Father. Oh, that's good. The VOD Father. That's a good subside. <laughs> yeah, if you know any VTubers, why don't you why don't you put a bug in their ear? Be like, you know, Taz and Escape from Mars, it's the new hit game. Huge nostalgic potential. Millions of kids played it. If you can tap into those memories, you'll be a millionaire in no time. 
think I'm fucked. Am I fucked? Looks like I'm fucked. I think you're fucked. I'm good. Okay. Now you're baby. Ugh. The controls are different when you're little. You're gonna get a continue! Mm hmm. We're gonna play this all night. Is there a market for unloved Sega Genesis games? There should be. I mean... Just an untapped Twitch market. People play Taz and Escape from Mars and B.O.B. all day. Again, VTubers. We got... I, I gotta tell you, you should invest. You mm -hmm. should invest in, uh... A Sega Genesis. And, and, and Taz Escape from Mars. Oh. Taz backwards. Escape from Mars. <laughs> This is a game you'd see in old game shops for like no money. I this <laughs> is a this is a super common game. Nobody wants it. Everybody wants to get rid of it. Oh, it was over here. Now why would no one want this? Look at him. Look He's at Taz. You know what? I bet if he had like a vest and a backwards ball cap on, this would. No, oh, the checkpoint is right. We're good. How you doing? I'm fine. You're justified. <laughs> You're doing good considering that this is How many millions were put into this, you think? Like they you gotta pay for the license. You gotta pay the developers like five bucks. <laughs> Can I eat my hamburger? No! If yeah, the continue respawns, so... Yeah, you could play this forever if you wanted to. That sounds fun! It does. Good value for the money. And good vibes. This game is full of good vibes only! Which has fewer good vibes, this or that Pink Panther game? Or fucking James you Bond. Just, oh, that bird. Yeah. Fuck it out. <laughs> Is this intentional to always elicit this reaction in you, where every few seconds you run into something that you wanted to pick up and you go, "Oh God damn it!" <laughs> Is that is that fun, folks? Folks, right in. Oh. <laughs> That's my review. Go da -er. If you want to stop, you can. No. Says chat. No. I mean, it is almost. It's all. It's right. It's a little past ranking time. Is it okay? So I'll give it this last life. Yeah. I think I have a zero life too. So. You do. You can. Let's let's do at least your zero life here. Still level okay. one. Uh... Still level one. I guess around this era, a lot of platformer designers got the same banal ideas about how platformers should be made. Like, oh, Sonic runs through loops and shit, let's have uh, Taz run along the walls and ceilings. And by Taz, I mean James Pond, also. You'd think that would make for better games, with influences from all the Sonics. Jordan says, uh, I should have mentioned that when I suggested this game, I never made it past the first level despite renting it at least a dozen times as a kid. <laughs> I never made it past the first part either, though I never rented it. Hey, now you get to see more of it at least. All right, what's this? I've never seen this before. Whoa, Ew. Contra Boss. Why is there a Contra Boss in Tasmania 2? <laughs> I hate this. 
What should the first boss be in our Looney Tunes game, boss? Uh, I don't know, something Cthulhu Cthulhu esque. <laughs> something something out of Taz's nightmares. Something with a lot of, you know, those little ball joints that they put on the freakish monsters in Ernest Evans? Yeah, something psychosexual, exactly. Right. You got it, boss. Something with psychosexual energy. <laughs> That's why you're number one here at Johnny's Game Company. Yeah, boss, it should be inspired by, uh, what you call, Darkseed. This is insipid. <laughs> you did it. This is what's the word that's going around lately? This is putrid. This is putrid gaming. Are Mole world. Are you putrid now? Yes. Okay. It's a subgenre of games, or rather, just magazines would describe games as being putrid. Games like, say, Lagoon. Mm. <sighs> or maybe Taz and Escape from Mars. Guess who just made it to level two in Taz from Escape from Mars? Honestly, congratulations. This is, Thank you. This is a huge achievement in retro gaming history. No one's ever done it. Except for those people who, for God knows whatever reason, want to play through every Genesis game. Are they out there? Is there someone doing that? Yeah. I bet you Sharpie's played through this. It hurts, though. It I was, hurts! I was going to say, it's definitely time to rank, so... Well, I just got here. Okay, fair enough. I just hate seeing you suffer. This level design! Th that jump was designed so you'd barely make it, and then, yet right at the end, look what it is. Dynamite. And a bomb, in case you missed the dynamite. Very carefully placed bomb there. Wow, the level designers hate the shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> Mascot Friday's going well. Hmm, <laughs> mystery fluid. No! You good, honey? I've never been... Never been happier to play a video game in my whole life. That's me. That's me. <laughs> Taz and Escape from Mars. A brutally difficult hellishly designed platformer. It's hateful, it's putrid, and I love it. Well, except for that last part. It's time to rank the games. We played some platformers tonight, believe it or not, and we're gonna rank them on our big master list. You can make your voice heard by telling us whether these games are better or worse than Bubsy, Claws Encounters of the Third Kind for Super Nintendo and Genesis. Make your voice heard with an RP Angel Bubsy or an RP Devil Bubsy, depending on how you feel. The first game we played tonight that's eligible for ranking, is James Pond 3. Alex, you have to agree to the chat rules. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Why did it make you agree to the chat rules? <laughs> Whatever. James Pond 3, is it better or worse than Bubsy? Vote now. Hmm. That's, that's, that's a lot of devils. I see a handful of Bubsy equivalents, but it's leaning towards... Devil Bubsy. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so it won't be near the bottom of the list or anything, but it will be below Bubsy for sure. But the Bubsy equivalents buoyed it just a little bit. Wow. What a phrase. <laughs> Bubsy equivalents buoyed. <laughs> it's it's so elegant. Do we have suggestions of where to put this? Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna say right it was worse. Right under Bubsy, but not by a lot. Uh, I'm gonna say is... it's it's worse than Zool down there. 
Okay. Why don't we say perhaps between Inspector Gadget and Mylon's Secret Castle? I like that, folks. Between uh, Mylon's Secret Castle and Inspector Gadget, what say you? That's like a four out of ten. That's about Mylon what I'd give Mylon is better. <laughs> I agree, Mylon is better. How about between Mylon and Gargoyles? I like it more than freaking Gargoyles, at least. Sure. Okay. Let's do it. That's fine. Good. Okay. Yeah. All right. We all agree James Pond 3 is a 4 out of 10 game. Not the worst. Far from being the best. All right. How level was that? James Pond. James Pond 3, Operation Starfish. And... Did we ever find out what the Starfish was? Was that on any other system or was that just Genesis? Uh, let's say Genesis for now. I'll clean okay. it up later. Electronic Arts. Millennium Interactive Vector Demon. Okay. Kind of crappy follow-up after James Pond 2. Also, now I can weigh in on what I feel about the James Pond series at large. What do you feel? How do you feel? I feel empty. Same. Speaking of feeling empty, our second game tonight was Taz and Escape from Mars for Sega Genesis. Is that better or worse than Bubsy? I don't know if James Pond ended up like he did. Dead in a ditch. And was that safe for Taz? Devils all around. Yeah. Wow, a couple of Bubsy equivalents. Some people feeling sorry for Taz. I kind of do too. He is my childhood hero. I just love a guy who can tear apart shit and eat everything. What can I say? Hey. He can be your hero, baby. If I may, um... That was way the fuck worse than James Pond 3. What the it hell? It was. It was way worse. That was easily in good company with, say, Pink Goes to Hollywood, which was from the same developer, same system, same sound engine, likely same gameplay engine, and the same level of quality. Okay, so here's where Pink is. Do you say it's think it's better or worse than Pink? <sighs> Simply because the first level wasn't inside a dead turkey, I think it's better than Pink. How about just above Pink? Between Wayne's World and Pink. How are we feeling that, folks? Should we put it between the two Wayne's Worlds? Yes, actually, that would work. How about above Mohawk and Headphone Jack, below Wayne's World? I was going to suggest that. Folks, above Mohawk, below Wayne's World? That would still mean that Awesome Possum is better than Taz, too. I don't hold either of those games in especially high esteem. Mm -mm. Below Wayne's World, good spot, go for it. Party on, just below Awesome Possum. That's close enough, I think. It's it's below Awesome Possum. Okay, so... Between Wayne's World and Mohawk and Headphone Jack, do it. Taz and Escape from Mars. The overprinted Sega Genesis game. Sega's probably still trying to get rid of copies of this game. For Sega Genesis, published by Sega, developed by... What head Games? Yeah, Head Games. Someone's been playing Head Games with me tonight. I don't appreciate it. Did we do it? Are we done? Have we served our sentence? <laughs> I think it's over. I think we've ranked all the platformers we need to rank this week. And you know what that means. As of right now, that's right, this exact second, as I say this, it's the weekend. Hell yes. Enjoy the Saturday. Enjoy the Sunday. Go back to work on Monday. You don't get Monday off this time. Sorry. I don't make the rules. But it's going to be a good one. Have It'll a good weekend good. regardless. <sighs> Patrons, if you haven't voted, check out the Retro Pals Patreon. There's a new poll up, and it's visually oriented for all you Ooh. visual heads. <laughs> <laughs> you have a choice between four different games, distinctly different games, all of which are in my personal collection. Uh, whatever wins, we're going to showcase that, plus a collection of similar games next Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central. Ooh. Vote carefully. Uh, my future depends on it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to look for a raid target. Alex, wrap us up, why don't you? We're also on YouTube, youtube.com slash RetroPals. Uh, we post highlights of our streams there, including our latest one, which was our full playthrough of Princess, uh, sorry, Princess Tomato in the Salad Kingdom. Uh, do check that out. It's really good. It's very funny. And it features me doing a horrible voice throughout it. So that's also always funny. Also on Twitter, twitter.com slash RetroPilesHQ. We post when we go live there, when we've got new videos up on YouTube, when our polls go up. So do check that out if you want to stay abreast of the news you can use. 
And, uh, you know what, for the hell of it, here's our Discord. That's where uh, you can chat about our streams. Uh... Our Discord just hit 420 members. Yeah, hey, Blessed hey, week. Hey. Blessed week. Thank nice. you, everybody, for joining. It's actually Thank a really you. cool place. I like hanging out in that Discord. Yeah. Folks, you know what's going on this weekend? There's a thing called Big Bad game Did that raid work? Yes, it did. <laughs> now, this thing, this is aimed straight at my heart. They started up the damn show, and right out the gate, they had Come On Baby, Jurassic Boy 2, fucking American Idol for GBA. The game they're playing right now, I'm not too familiar with, but they do have a lot of excellent stuff on the horizon. So please, please watch that. A lot of good stuff, a lot of good runners, a lot of excellent, amazing games that are much more worth your time than Taz and Escape from Mars. Enjoy that. Have a good weekend. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching. See ya, folks.